In the past two weeks, there have been countless fake Race Awakening V4 videos circulating on every social media platforms, and countless people have been fooled by it. They have given all kinds of outrageous requirements, making everyone waste time to farm. There are rumors saying that the requirement to pull this lever requires god human max mastery and a certain amount of mirror fractals, but are these all correct? In this video I will be explaining everything I know about the puzzle. And time. Before I explain anything, I want to show and explain what this temple of time looks like and what it does. This NPC is useless, his job is to send you out of this temple. There is a hidden door here. In order to open it, you must pull down the lever. This step is also the step that all blocks fruits players unable to complete. People are saying god human fighting style and mirror fractal is needed to pull this lever. This temple is obviously made for Ace Awakening. It have nothing to do with fighting style. And what does mirror fractal have to do with pulling the lever or strength? Next, let's explore the inside of Temple of Time. There is a total 7 entrance inside. Let's explore the first 6. A trial gate forming cuses. Human. We will be skipping this entrance for now and talk about it later. Skypeon. Ghoul. Fishman. And lastly, Cyborg. Finally, let's explore the final entrance. Before we walk up the stairs, there is actually an NPC called Redhead Essence beside. I'll be explaining what this NPC does after we explore the room above the stairs. Let's head up. This room is the Race V4 Awakening Room, and these things you see on your screen are Race V4 gears. You can equip your race gears in this room, and gears are something that you can equip to buff your race. Different gears have different buffs, you can equip only 4 for each race, and every race will have gears with different buffs. And of course, the redhead essence below the stairs is a NPC who sells you the last two gear which is gear 4 and gear 5. You can probably obtain gear 1 to gear 3 through the trial gates, and the last two gear from redhead essence NPC. Alright, I guess it's time to talk about the race awakening v4 requirements. I have spent about 200 plus hours doing research about the Race Awakening V4 with my team. Anything you can think of, we have tested it. In the end we believe that Race Awakening does not exist. But, why would Blocks Fruit slide about this? This not only made them lose the community's trust, but also ruined the reputation of their own game. So, 
we spend some more time researching about this Race Awakening V4. I'm glad, we found some clues about Race Awakening V4. First, an exploiter revealed that the Mink description of Race Awakening V4 does not exist, which probably means that this puzzle is not finished yet. Secondly, if you doesn't know about this, but there is 12 full moons every year, sometimes 13. Update 17 part 3 released on the 11th of September, and the 10th of September happens to be the full moon period, which mean the update released one day right after the full moon in real life ended, it could be the reason why they delayed the update. Also, Ripindra did not talk about this race awakening v4 things on Twitter or Discord, normally, I believe he would give hints or at least say something about race awakening v4 on Twitter, like, why no one has found v4 yet. But he didn't mention anything about Race Awakening V4. Maybe it's because he knows that at this time, Race Awakening V4 can't be obtained. Because, it's not the time yet, the time for Full Moon to appears in real life. Also, the clock on Chocolate Island is actually reversed. If you turn 180 degrees, this is the correct moon clock. It is very close to the moon clock you can find on Google. It is both 10, 11. It may also imply that the Temple of Time can only be completed when the full moon appears in reality, I can't 100% confirm this is true, but, Blocks Fruits has nearly 2 million players, however, no one succeeded in unlocking this race awakening v4. The next full moon in real life appears in the 9th of October to 11, perhaps the whole temple will start working after the 9th of October, I believe they won't just let this temple operate during full moon in real life which happen only once a month. My guess is the whole temple will be working permanently after the full moon appears in real life, which is the 9th of October. Well, I cannot 100% guarantee that the theory is correct, but this is the best guess I have after 200 hours plus of researching with a group of people. Good luck everyone.